A lot of folks talk about time management, but time can't be managed. Time just is. Time will march on no matter how hard you work to wrestle to the ground. That's the bad news. The good news is that you can manage you. And when you can learn to do that well, you can become a master of your time. The problem is that most of us have way too much on our plates and everything seems to demand our attention. We move at warp speed, we're busy. My goal is for you to do less, make more, and have a lot more fun. Would that be okay? Good. Well, it starts with reclaiming what we value. You know, we say that we value family and then we work 70 or 80 hours a week in the office. We say that we value health and fitness and then never go to the gym. We say that we value lifelong learning and we haven't picked up a book in the last six months, in the last six years. Devoting our time to what we really value is a huge step forward in the mastery of your time. Another challenge in our search to master time is getting back in touch with what we really, really want for our lives. Somewhere along the way, too many of us go off the path. We lose our vision. We start feeling like a B character in that old Bill Murray movie, Groundhog Day. Every day, the same bloody thing. Every day, the same as the next. We need to reclaim our dreams and make them real. The difference between dreams and goals is goals are dreams with a deadline. They're time specific. Time will pass you by whether you do these things or not. Masters of time have clearly defined life goals and they make them happen. Now, I'm a big fan of lists and I love my to-do list and I love crossing stuff off my list. In fact, I love doing that so much that I actually put stuff on that list that I've already done just so that I can check it off. <laughs> but your to-do list is not your most powerful list. Your most powerful list is your stop doing list. You know, there are certain meetings and functions that don't yield results, stop going to them. There are certain people that drag you down, stop associating with them. There are certain clients and customers that cause you headaches, stop dealing with them. Steve Jobs of Apple fame once said that he was as proud of the thousands of things that he had said no to as the few things that he had said yes to. Saying no to the not so good and the merely good so that you can say yes, so that you can embrace and enjoy what you truly value is one of the most powerful of all of the time mastery principles. Walt, absolutely the finest speaker on time management that there is out there. He'll give you a way to change not only your business, but your life. His speech really makes me think about how I can prioritize my time differently. And he's just such a great teacher. If you want to increase your time management and productivity, then you definitely need to see Walt speak. In the bigger picture, there's so little time to get this time mastery stuff right. The sands of our lives run quickly through the glass. And in the end, None of us is gonna wish that we had spent more time in the office, billed more hours, accumulated more miles, closed more deals, seen more clients, sold more product, networked more, tweeted more, updated our Facebook status more frequently. What will matter will be the experiences that we have had, the lives that we have touched, the love that we have shared. What will matter will be whether we have fulfilled the deepest longings of our hearts. Whether we have spent ourselves not on the urgent, but on the important. Whether we have lived without regret.